What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here uh, on this beautiful Monday evening uh, here in California. November 22nd, 2021 to date, 7.30 p.m. California time. Latest quake on the globe is a 2.7 earthquake right around the Baja California area. We are still seeing seismic activity increase pretty much from the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone down through the Baja California region. Of course, uh, looking at that activity off the coast of Oregon here on the main map of the USGS here. Kind of shows that activity at the southern end, as I mentioned, of the Cascadia. A couple of earthquakes right smack dab at the southern end. This is the uh, 2.5 and above. Let's go ahead and bring down the all magnitudes. Does not help this area, but 3.2 in the Petrolia area. Just at the uh, almost the Mendocino triple point junction here, southern end of the Cascadia mega thrust area, 3.2 at 18 kilometers, somewhat deep movement in this area. And earlier, uh, way earlier this morning, we also had a 2.6 well off the coast uh, of Northern California at 10 kilometers. And of course, here's this little oddball earthquake from last night, 1.7 well south of the region and well west of the uh, plate boundary. But overall, a seismic increase uh, signature here along the west coast. Looking at the activity that uh, struck down here in the Baja, California area. Let's see if I can find out where that was at. Uh, looks like it may have been this one, right? Let's see when that was. 2.7, right around Baja, California. And um, that one was about 8.8 .8 kilometers here. We were looking at uh, quite a bit of seismic activity into the Gulf of California, but uh, uh, still, I think that we're kind of watching this area pretty closely, folks. It's been uh, seismically active for a few days now, and just a bunched up cluster of quakes pretty much everywhere here in California. Uh, you, you can see right around Lake Tahoe area, even seeing an uptick in swarming right around North Shore up here at Kings Beach. See a little swarming of uh, some small microquakes at the northern end of Lake Tahoe and uh, throughout the Nevada area down through the Antelope Valley region and right around the Long Valley Super Volcano, a little seismic activity as well. Some uh, more further activity down south here around the Ridgecrest region, including some activity uh, just outside of Mount Whitney Mount Whitney sits over here, Lone Pine Fault System. Got a little uh, 3.0 at 7.6 kilometers right off the Lone Pine Fault in the Owens Valley area. Uh, some further um, movement here along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. This is some pretty good swarming kicking up and down this section of the San Andreas Fault. Quite a few twos kicking off there. An upper 2.9, so far the largest in this little swarm of activity. So we're just keeping an eye on it, folks. California, you know, it's uh, pretty, it's been, you know, relatively quiet when it comes to any major earthquakes out there. Of course, the Ridgecrest earthquakes uh, a couple years back now, you know, pretty large earthquakes, but it's not a major earthquake. A major earthquake around Los Angeles, San Francisco, or a Cascadia subduction zone earthquake would be considered something major. Uh, and it's been a while since we've seen something major like that happen out here. It's just a matter of time before we see things um, fill in when it comes to releasing quite a bit of pressure uh, that's been building up for some time. Uh, a little earthquake outside of uh, Long Beach, California and uh, San Jacinto Fault area looking uh, pretty active today. There's that swarming of activity in the uh, Salton Sea area. Of course that's from late last night it looks like, late last night, early this morning. Since then we have not seen any further activity up through the Pacific Northwest, seismic activity on the increase and on the rise. Looks like we may be seeing a return of some Cascadia trimmer. We'll check that out here in a little bit. There's some movement uh, outside of uh, the uh, Grand Teton National Park. Yellowstone seeing some activity as well. New Madrid area looks pretty quiet, folks. We're not looking at any uh, seismic activity on the map. Alaska showing some seismic uh, movement, but uh, overall generally average background levels there along the Aleutian Trench um, throughout the Indonesia area and Solomon Islands area. Quite a few fours and a little 5.5 .5 near Papua New Guinea. 
Here's that deep earthquake movement in Fiji and also down here along the Kermadec Trench here, watching this one pretty closely. Uh, this earthquake right here, 447 kilometers into the Kermadec Trench. This here is a major subduction zone, major player in producing some significant large earthquakes. I'm um, looking at uh, the uh, that 4.5 into that zone. Earlier, prior, there was a uh, little bit smaller one upstream, up right at the surface, 4.8 within the same area. So, watching this region around New Zealand pretty closely. South America looking uh, somewhat quiet tonight. Puerto Rico area seeing an uptick in swarming activity right around the Puerto Rico Trench with uh, looks like a 4.0 kicking up the largest earthquake there and 3.7 and also a 3.6 uh, striking that area um, within the last few hours it looks like. Let's go ahead and check out the trimmer in the uh, Pacific Northwest. We'll see if this thing has returned. Uh, looks like we have a little bit of trimmer in the s Oregon area, at least southern, southwestern part of Oregon. A little bit of activity in the Cascadia subduction zone. Nothing major, folks, but a little return of that movement. Pacific Northwest is relatively quiet in the Cascadia trimmer, so kind of odd to see some uh, further surface quaking up there, but. Uh, just kind of keep an eye on things here, folks. Uh, let's check out the Yellowstone map. See if things are bumping out here. They look pretty quiet. We talked about this a little bit earlier. A couple small microquakes within the vicinity of Yellowstone National Park. Not a whole lot going on out there. Um, Hawaii showing a little bit of movement. Kilauea still sits at uh, the Orange Watch. No, no further. Uh, we'll get to La Palma here in just a second. As far as monitoring goes, in the seismic uh, zone here in the southeast region. Let's go ahead and pop up one of these seismic uh, stations here. We can see the seismic activity kicking up. Uh, at least I thought I was going to get it popped up. Maybe I'm not clicking on that thing right. Uh, past 12 hours. There we go. You can see uh, that earthquake showing up on the seismographs there in the uh, Hawaii area. That's the uh, southeast region. Quite a few earthquakes popping up, but uh, that's it's been like that for quite some time in this region of Hawaii. Uh, as far as La Palma goes, no significant change uh, at the moment. So we can check seismic activity there on the EMSC map since USGS completely ignores the uh, seismic activity there around the Canary Islands. Um, let's see, are we going to work? There we go. Took a little bit to function there, a little odd. Uh, what do we got here? Seismic activity. It was 4.7. Looks like about two hours ago in the uh, Canary Islands region. So things kind of... That's a pretty large, somewhat of a large quake there for that region. Let's see what we got prior to that. Quite a few twos. So <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty... Uh, These guys are pretty slow tonight. I'm not for sure what's going on with their website, but uh, you click on it and uh, it, just, it takes a little second there. I thought I was on the modem, modem for a minute. It's still kind of dragging. It's a little on the odd side. But uh, either way, the 4.7, <clears throat> kind of a larger earthquake for that region. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But as far as any uh, heightened activity, aside from that 4.7 there at uh, La Palma, uh, I'm not aware of any at the moment. Trying to get this web page to work. Thirty-eight kilometers for that uh, earthquake that struck a couple hours ago here in the La Palma region. You can see all the uh, the quakes within the vicinity, all roughly. Uh, All roughly around the, uh, you know, the uh, activity out there around La Palma, pretty, pretty active, folks. Let me tell you, there's a bunch on here. There is a bunch. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump off here. Pretty tired. Just kind of putting up a, putting up a Christmas tree. It's kind of first time I've had a real Christmas tree in a, a little while. 
but uh, kind of stringing that up right now with some lights and uh, just kind of making it a little little bit more of a positive vibe around the uh, area it's always nice to see some Christmas lights and whatnot um, you know around Thanksgiving it's always cool a lot of people put put up uh, Christmas lights around uh, Halloween but uh, it's a little bit too early for me Thanksgiving is a good time to put up uh, put up some lights all right guys we're gonna jump off here have a good night uh, definitely stay safe out there everyone not a whole lot going on in the solar weather department as you can see on the Sun uh, looking pretty bleak and blank there's a little earthquake coming into the Chile region right now nothing significant looks pretty minor um, but uh, still keep an eye on things folks getting uh, pretty pretty active out here along the west coast once again just been kind of feeling I don't know past couple days been feeling kind of odd kind of off uh, lately not for sure what's going on but um, can't put can't quite put my finger on it anyway stay safe out there folks we will chat you guys another time peace out